what we want to do is make sure the user experience, both for our the viewers of our content and then for marketers who are looking for their advertising to be as effective as possible, to make sure that the, the ad load, the experience, as well as the commercial innovation behind it, it's not just about reduction of the number of ads, it's making the ads work harder. So applying different ways creatively to make sure the ads have as much impact as possible. So looking at different pod links, looking at different kinds of commercial innovation creatively, using information about contextual targeting, other ways that data can better inform relevance of advertising to the programs themselves. So all that together should make for a better user experience for our customer, the viewer, and also therefore make the advertising work even better. So we, we know we're always dealing with a very powerful, effective advertising in the world of sight, sound, and motion, premium content television, but we also know, given uh, the changes in consumer behavior, that there's more we can do to even make it work harder and more effective for both sets of our customers, the viewer as well as the marketers. Fill us in on, on the decisioning, what Advanced TV means at NBC Universal and sort of where it's going. It keeps getting better and better uh, as the data improves, as, our, as the marketers continue to build out their own data sets, their first party data, CRM data, and build out DMPs. The ability now through advanced tech and plugging into our world of Comcast set-top box data and being able to do privacy compliant matching and really honing in on specific audiences, not the, the general lowest common do denominator of age and gender, but to really get to focus on which customers they're truly trying to reach is something that for what was the television industry, which was always about just mass reach, now it's about mass targeted reach. So you ha still have scale, you still have premium brand safe content, but now we can apply data, which means that every dollar is working harder. So the advancements we're seeing just in the last couple of years have been amazing, and whether it's the managed service approach where we'll do the matching, use our own optimization, and supply the clients with a uh, data-informed and decision media plan across our entire portfolio, or more recently, even allowing clients and the agencies themselves to do a self-service version of that with maybe their ad tech platform, their data, as long as uh, that the data is, has better informed the media by, we're agnostic to who does it. So it's an incredibly exciting time. Just explain a little bit about the self-service platform. Yeah. So there are a couple of companies out there that whether they operate as sort of a middle DSP or they're licensing their ad tech to an agency or client directly, what we'll do is avail our inventory, our premium national inventory, into a buying platform so that they can apply whatever data sets they want to decision against NBCU inventory across the portfolio. All the high quality inventory, it's not uh, programmatic in the way that digital thinks of it because the connotation there is it's remnant and it's you know bottom of the funnel, uh, uh, bottom of the uh, uh, waterfall. Uh, in our case, it's all of our quality inventory um, across all of our scripted and non-scripted programming that is available for the decisions to be made at, at the program level across our portfolio. And finally, you had some major uh, events uh, with the Olympics and the Super Bowl. Um, uh, changes in consumer behavior, changes in advertising formats and, and media itself, including VR. Uh, give us some thoughts about these major events and sort of some takeaways you, you've formed from them. Well, uh, February was an amazing month for NBC Universal with the Super Bowl and then the Olympics, and uh, it proves out a lot for us. One is there's nothing more powerful to unite the, the country as these sports events and the great storytelling behind it. So the power of television, the po power of great storytelling as an advertising platform is still unequal. So that's great. But what we are seeing too is that the natural migration of the viewing across all the platforms in which the great content is available. And uh, starting in Rio, we've moved toward uh, looking at total audience delivery as a recognition that yes, so much happens on that main linear screen, but so much of the viewing of this content is happening on every device 
that this content is available on. So by moving to a total audience delivery way of transacting, we are looking at the consumer across all platforms. We're platform agnostic and for a marketer, they get the benefits of the full scale and reach of consumers that consume our inventory no matter whether they're watching it on the, the, the big screen, their mobile screen, their, their iPad, their desktop. And that's an approach that will increasingly be a way we look at our relationship with marketers because then they get the full benefit of the power of premium content.